I didn't take this over. Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and tonight we're going to be talking. Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and oh, I just got a. Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and we're going to be looking at. Um, Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and we're going to be looking at the secrets of the magic pentagon in this video. And a magic pentagon is probably something you haven't heard of before. I mean, if you had to Google it, um, you'll get this type of picture, and you'll see that there's only one real magic pentagon or magic uh, shape in the means of the mathematical term. And that is that second picture over there. So what I did was, because I searched Magic Pentagon for some reason, and I stumbled across this thing. And so I clicked on it. Um, I went to this really cool website called Futility Closet. They've got a whole bunch of weird mathematical things. Um, I recommend you go check it out. But they talk about this Magic Pentagon. And they, it, they talk about it... Um, in the certain book that this guy Edward wrote called Games Ancient and Oriental and How to Play Them. Quite a long title. Anyway, so I went and I got the book, okay? And in the book, there's just a single page on this magic pentagon. And what it says, it says, it will be observed that the five sides of each pentagon are all equal and that the five diameters from one angle to the center of the opposite side are each 459, which is 9 times the central number of 51, which is also the mean number, and the series being between 1 and 101. So basically, what they've done is they've taken um, the numbers from 1 to 101, and they've used each one once, and they've arranged it in this formation that resembles a pentagon, and each um, layer, um, all the sides are equal to each other, and the diameters are all equal to the other diameters. So at first I didn't believe it. I was like, no, I need to, I need to check this out. So I got my little S pen out and um, you could see all the sides actually did uh, equal. I mean, the inner, the inner one was 156, the outer was 268, then 385 and then 507 on all of those. But this kind of upset me though, because I mean, each diagonal or diameter or whatever was equal to 459. And I was thinking, why can't the final layer or the fi final parameter, instead of equaling 507, why couldn't that equal 459? This, this bothered me. I wanted, I wanted the numbers to, I wanted it to be more perfect, more magical. So that was my task. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how I made this pentagon even more magical. So first thing I did, oh, and I'm gonna tell you guys how I did it. So step one was I got my magic pentagon. And now remember, I wanna try and keep all those other principles intact. I want all the layers to equal and all the uh, diameters or diagonals to also equal. But the first thing I, I wanted to do was I wanted to flip the corners. Okay, so as you can see um, the blue numbers and what I mean by that is I made the, because you'll see there's 100 and that links to 1 or 101 and that links to 4. You know, you've got those numbers there. What I wanted to do was switch those around um, so that your small numbers are at the corners. Um, this is on my journey to make it equal to sum to 459. And by doing so, um, the diagonals are still equal to 459 because I've just switched, switched them around. Okay, but that doesn't equal 459. If you add them up, you'll see it's like 410 for some, 413. So we need to do um, step two. So step two is we're going to now switch the numbers between the layers. So you can see all those numbers in red. Well, what I did was I shook them up and I switched them around. So I switched the 59 with the 13, I switched, um, what did I switch the 12 with? The 12 with the 58 and so on like that. And the reason why I had to switch a number in each of the layers was that they all, um, so now that, I think is, is that color red, that middle one, 
those all sum to 222. Um, but my outer layer still wasn't equaling the, the magic number of 459. It's quite, I found it was quite, quite difficult to do this, but um, I had a plan. And what I did was I just calculated or I summed up all the, the diameters and I saw that they equaled uh, 2285. Oh, sorry, um, all my sides were equal to 2285 and the diagonals were equal to 2295. So what I needed to do was I needed to make the black parameter um, greater by 10. So what I did was I did a little bit of shuffling around again and I switched the 16 with the number 26. Um, this means that when I sum all my sides of the black parameter, I'm going to get that 2295. However, um, we now need to equalize the final layer because if we look now, they're not all equaling 459. And how we would do that, or how I got it, was I decided to rotate the numbers around. So I rotate the numbers around and the ones I moved around I've highlighted in yellow and I've moved those and you can check and that now they all sum to 459 so I'm very happy. But by doing so I've disrupted the middle parameter, um, well the middle pentagon. So what, what we need to do is we need to go and equalize that in a layer. Luckily um, I just took 10 out of it and 10 divided by 5 is 2 which means I just had to shuffle just a little bit of it around um, and yeah get that done so that they all were equal um, so you can see before they were equal to 385 because it was 10 so it's 2 per side they would now sum to 383 and yeah, the ones in black are the numbers that I rearranged and how did I rearrange the numbers it was basically just Ooh, what happens if I move this one there? What happens if I move this one there? It, there wasn't any formula or anything. It was just basically playing around with the numbers. Uh, but I was very careful not to play with the middle numbers of each parameter because that would upset the diagonals, all the ones in the corners. So it didn't touch those. Those were my only limits. Um, and yeah, there we go. We've got our, um, our magical pentagon. And not only do each um, pentagon that each color, not only do all their sides equal, so they're magic pentagons, but the final layer and the diagonals are also all the same numbers of 459. So I'm very happy with that. Um, but please double check. I mean, it would be kind of kind of awkward and embarrassing if I've doubled up on a number or if one of the sides don't equal. So just check them and let me know in the comment section if it is correct. Um, I've just done this one tonight. But one that I did spend um, a little bit of time on was I decided to double up on this pentagon and I managed to make a really big one. So this one was between the numbers of 1 and 211. And yeah, you can see this has got, I don't even know how many there are, I said like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's like 6 or 7 pentagons within that and they follow all the principles. Um, each parameter of each pentagon equals each other and the diagonals um, they all sum to a one three seven eight which is also the side or the sum of the parameters of the final pentagon and one three seven eight is eleven times the middle number which is also kind of cool so why was I doing this um, and you can see I've got my cool little signature um, the reason being is there was an artist who I found uh, while I was on holiday who just really inspired me. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. It's, yeah, some German, I think it's German. Um, so you can see that's why I did my signature with the M and then the J in between because that's how he did his signature with the A and the D. And he made this magical square, which is not as cool as the Pentagon because Pentagon's got an extra side. But this square is very very interesting the more you look at it the more you add it up the more you you just like you get blown away by the principles and the properties of the square so check that out i'll let you do it it's quite a fun thing to do but very very awesome and this was done in the year 1514 which he even managed to put in at the bottom you can see 1514 was the date he made it so he did this before the age of excel which is really really cool so and what this artist also used to do is 
uh, or what people believe that he used to do was he used to hide hidden wisdom in his art, which also intrigues me a bit. So what I've done and what I'm going to leave you guys with is a little painting I did. Um, there is a secret code or a secret message hidden in this painting. It's very simple. Um, it shouldn't take you too long to, to decipher. And Joe, just let me know in the comment section when you've got it. Don't write the answer in this comment section because that will ruin it for other people. And when you get the message, you'll know it's correct because then the whole picture will make sense. So good luck with that. And yeah, don't, don't ruin it in the comment section, but do let me know if you get it. Just comment be like, oh, I got it. Um, give me another one or whatever like that. And yeah, that is my video on the magic pentagon, uh, the secrets revealed and how you can perfect it. And yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm hoping it was a little bit groundbreaking because there, these pentagons aren't that common. You can see when we Googled it, there was only that one. And we have made it even more magical now. So share this video with your friends and for everybody who likes mathematics and the, the awesome properties of numbers. And this is also another reason why you should study actuarial science because it gives you this awesome ability to make these magic pentagons, which we all know is a very important uh, skill in today's society. Uh, jokes aside, hope you guys have an enjoyable day and subscribe for some more videos. Cheers.